All right, YouTube, head back with you. Top of the line training. And uh, I'm just going to do a quick test with this uh, Baco um, rucksack axe. It's 19 inches. I've seen a couple of demos on YouTube. I saw where the handle cracked off or broke off. Uh, I haven't had any trouble with mine yet. I haven't used it a great deal. But this, I'm out gathering firewood. And this uh, piece of pine right here is full of resin. So it would be a good uh, good thing for fire. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can cut into it with this and see what, what happens. So stay with me. It's full of resin. So stay with me, YouTube. And uh, here we go. One thing about cutting with an axe, you want to be careful of your stroke. You know, just safety first. The thing about it is, I'm out here in the woods. I'm probably about a mile and a half, two miles away from my vehicle. Still, there are cars, and the, the road is probably about two miles away, three miles. But there, And there's houses there, but I don't know if anyone's home or what. I don't know where the hell the nearest hospital is, anything. So be careful what the hell you're doing when you're doing these kind of um, activities, if you will. So Splitting down pretty good. And there you go, YouTube. Beautiful. A small turn with that snapped it right off. So there's the Baco. Uh, camp axe. So, a couple points here. We can see now that the Baco handle, axe handle, rucksack axe handle, sucks. <laughs> Look at that shit. I mean, I barely turned it. Anyway, so I'm going to have to go get, uh, I think this is ash, but I'm not sure. Might be hickory, but I'm going to go get something. Not now. I'll go back to the hardware, take this piece of shit out. I think the blade is good, but you just saw the failure of the Baco axe. Uh, I'm only assuming this is the Baco Laplander, same company. But uh, they need to do something about this bullshit. Which is also another good point. It's another good reason to have backup tools. If this is all I had... Now I'd have to go out and try to cut something down with this to make another handle and it could be in a world of hurt. Of course you can use it in this manner, uh, you know, making um, uh, damn, uh, fire um, feather sticks, man I couldn't think, uh, feather sticks or whatnot. But uh, anyway, I'm disappointed. I paid about 30 bucks for this. I was excited to get it because I thought it was a fairly good price and stuff, but I guess you get what you pay for. But I, I haven't given up on this axe head. I think it's good. Uh, I think it'll do its job. Uh, but, man, you saw a break. <laughs> that couldn't have been any better. And I was not staged in any shape or form. So now it's time to the Baco. When the Baco rucksack axe fails, we'll go back into the Baco Laplander saw. So, let's see if I can cut this off with this. There's a piece. And you can see the saw is going right through it. a little resin in it but so that you can see the resin all through it all right all right I'd like to have gotten this old stump out of here I could mess around and get it I guess but yeah, it's tough All right. All right, you two.
been the uh, Baco rucksack axe failure. And uh, I'm going to continue gathering firewood. Stay with me. We'll be back with you real soon.